Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Falcon 3 Tarot, should read you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Wow. I'm hearing a song, but I can't make out what it is. I was gonna say, if you turn it up louder, There you are, Scorpio. Your song. Um, okay, your song. Live in life to the beat of your own drum. Your song. Jumping into this, it's definitely a consideration of how badly do you want it? How badly do you want something? You're showing me who you are. You are clearly a somebody, even though you energetically don't feel like you know you are yet fully 100%. How badly do you want it? Are you willing to kind of fight to climb to the top? Um, how hungry are you? Are you striving for it? Are you climbing for it? Are you doing everything you possibly can for it? Or is it even energetically worth it? You're kind of saying, well, about that. I, I definitely am determined to kind of push forward, but at the same time, it's difficult. It's definitely a creepy, crawly, slow. Uh, you're kind of saying, I'm not too sure if I want to get you know stuck with it or trapped with it or, or what's going on here. But I feel like going through the the motions and the energies and the thoughts and the emotions and the feelings about all this, you actually are choosing to push forward with it. And that's, what's very interesting. Um, you're saying, you know what, I'm going to commit and dedicate and devote myself to myself. I like it. I do have an interest in it. I care about it. I love it. And those emotions and those feelings are getting stronger and deeper for what you are focusing on and doing for yourself. You're saying, I, excuse me. And because of all this, I need to really protect it and stand up for it and be about it. Nice. Now, that also means putting away the confusion and putting away the energy of do I, don't I, do I, don't I, do, and being flip-floppy. You're saying, you know what, I need to strongly kind of check myself and check my mind and my thoughts and really hone in and focus on this and figure out how to kind of just have things progress and move forward. Now, what's interesting, though, is... You're in the process of this, and that's what's interesting. I kind of feel like for you, it's this energy of so much determination and dedication and fight for this, but then all of a sudden you're kind of like, but also for what? And that's what I was kind of wondering. It seems and it feels like you chose yourself, but then it's almost like, okay, and now step two, and it's like, mm, I just I just don't know. I'm, just, I'm tired. Um, Mm. You're in a transitional period right now, Scorpio. Multiple transitions. And you're kind of like saying, yeah, that's not the problem, though. You're saying, I, I need to kind of focus and hone in on myself. Okay. You're doing it. Even though you're kind of saying, um, wow, that energy. Even though, yeah, even though you're kind of saying, you know what, it's difficult and it's, it's exhausting and it's a, definitely a grind and a hustle, but you're doing it. You're doing it. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Scorpio. What is that about? Um, wow, wow, wow. Again, it goes back to how badly do you want it? Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm following. Yeah. Highs and lows. That is for sure. Highs and lows. There's peaks and dips. Peaks and dips. You're learning that though. It's a learning curve. Back into this, Scorpio. You're saying, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll go all in into this. So nice. Um, now what you're saying is because you have stepped into your new, let's just say, you've shed your old skin, if you will, and you're stepping into your new life. Um, financially speaking, you, you do get something here from your works and your efforts about, you know, your, your, your work. Um, but you're ultimately kind of saying it's just, it's, it's great. Every little bit helps, but at the same time, it's kind of like with the times, literally in the way things are moving forward, which is fascinating. Um, I feel like you're actually stepping into alignment with yourself or your calling, if you will. This is fascinating. I have not seen an energy like this. Um, I actually don't think I've seen it before. I just read for cancer and they were fucking around with this kind of energy and they're paying the price for it. You're working with it. You're working with it. I feel like you're going to get a sign or a message from life in and of itself that's going to put you right on track to you saying, you know what? No, this is for me. It's regarding your work, your career, your content, your niche. It is. Even though you're kind of saying right now, right now it's like a mustard seed. Right now it is small. But if I give it enough time, it'll just take off on its own and everything will be cool. It's a matter of staying focused and how badly you want it. You're saying, I'm not going to budge on this. Nice. At the same time, you're also kind of showing me it's just depressing that I have to do all the small, tedious steps to make it happen. But that's also the small, tedious steps of that when you do follow through with that, the things that do work out for you along the path to this climb to the top is actually giving you that perspective and that clarity and teaching you something about how all this works. <laughs> it's, it's an energy of like, oh, this is what it's like. It's like, yeah. Um, you're appreciating where you're at while you're there, while you're making your way to that top. Yeah, it's definitely lessons. It's a, it's a learning curve and lessons that come along with it. Kind of, I was going to say, you're kind of switching gears here. Um, it makes sense. So switching gears. There's a connection here. There's a connection here between you and someone that you are waiting on or waiting for. But you even you're kind of saying, because you are working on yourself, you're not going to wait forever. And that's called self-love and respect. Stand by it. Absolutely. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a fire sign, or a water sign. Goodbye.